my friend, my brother, my sister, spend time with God. Spend more time with God. Do whatever you can to spend time with him. Don't be too busy talking about God. Get yourself with God intimately. Spend time in intimacy with God. What do I mean by that? Read the word of God. If you respect the written word of God, you will hear from God through his word. Spending time with God means spending time reading, believing, reading the word of God. The word of God has a power to draw you in intimacy with him. God has made provision for you. He has given you the Holy Spirit to lead you into all truth. John 16. He wants you to spend time with him. More with him than with people. Spend time with God for yourself. Not for people. Every relationship grows. Your relationship with your wife or your husband grows. But the relationship grows because you spend time with your wife or your husband. Your relationship grows because you spend time with your children. My children want me to listen to them. They want me to spend time with them. They will make sure when I come back from work. They, they want to know when I'm off work. So that they can prepare the things they have to say to me. Because they need my opinion. They need my guidance in the things that they have to make a decision on. So they need my time. I need to spend time with my wife. To understand her. To know what she has need of. And to know how we can complement each other. But we need to spend time in a relationship. Because every relationship grows as you invest your time in that relationship. Spend time with God. Not for anyone else. Spend time with God for yourself. If you don't spend time in the word, you will assume everything. You need to spend time in the word. Read the word. Believe the word. Let God speak to you through the word of God. There are general scriptures that are written for everyone but there are scriptures that will speak to you directly not everything is written for you but there's something that are written to you that you need to understand in the communication that you will develop as you read the word of god but you need to spend time with god it's more important than spending time with everybody else spend time with god for yourself read the word of god for yourself let the word of god be rooted and built in you richly it will help you from presumption it will stop you assuming it will stop you from bringing your projects to god god wants to do and fulfill his purpose through you but you need to spend time with god so he can give you his purpose. So he can empower you. you. You spend time with him. He will give you. He will reveal to you his purpose for your life. And he will equip you to do his purpose. And people will see his purpose in your life. Because you will be doing it. You don't need people's opinion. You don't need to tell everybody about everything. You need to just abide with God. Seven times in John chapter 15, from verse 1 to verse 8. Seven times he said, abide in me. Abide in me. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Don't rush to leave the presence of God. Abide. Spend time with him. Don't be scared of spending time with him. Don't rush spending time with God. Read the word of God 
Let the Holy Spirit make you understand his words. In Luke chapter 24, I think between verse 40 to 44, the Bible says, the Holy Jesus opened the understandings of this, the disciples so they can comprehend the scriptures. You need to be able to understand the scriptures because that will help you to understand who God is. When you read the words of God, you're reading the mind of God. You're reading what he wants you to understand. So if you respect the written word of God and you're willing to read, God will say, aha, she wants to understand. He wants to know me. And then he will equip you and empower you and gift you with understanding and discernment and wisdom so you can apply the words that you read. Spend time with God alone. Don't just spend time with God for people. Spend time with God alone and watch how your life will be transformed. Watch how you will grow in the knowledge of him. My brother, <clears throat> my sister, spend time with him. Read his word and watch what will happen. May God bless you and thank you for watching. Share if you've been blessed by this video. Please share the video. The purpose of sharing is to let more people know, set more people free. Comment, like, and share the video to bless other people. God bless you and I'll see you soon.